Beyond Galaxy Land is here, and it is a hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy mixed with Guardians of the Galaxy, and they made their own little cosmic adventure. It's a rambunctious good time from developer Sam Enright, and I played the demo during Next Fest. I fucking loved it. I'm excited to jump into the full thing. So we're going to go through about an hour of this. I'm going to give you my first impressions at the end of probably a little bit further than I did in the demo, and I'm going to tell you now. I love it. The art style is great, but we're going to check it out together. You're going to drop me a comment. You're going to like and subscribe after, and I'm going to see you in the next one, especially when I plan to do a full playthrough of this. All right, so let's do it. Starting our new game, and we got our opening intro. I'll be a little bit quiet so you can take this in. Even the way they're doing the stars, though, dude, it's... It reminds me of Star Wars back then, just that depth of field effect to kind of add the vastness of it. it it's great. Music though, dude. It goes pretty hard for a little indie game. And right now we're opening up. Dude, every time I see the pixel art that they've done, oh, it just tugs at my heart. I mean, look at that. It looks sick. Looks like Lloyd in Space, if anybody ever watched that. Mixed with Blade Runner. Like, it's almost like it's voxel style, but it's not. It's pixels. I'm approaching the ship. Yeah, you are. Damn right, it's massive. Oh, I gotta keep clicking. I just noticed the yes well. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting down. Research on this scale can require an entire community. Okay. Could we not have taken things too far? It's true. We're not above greed. Not as a species. Oh yeah, let's make some contact! What do they call me? The Lone Space Ranger? Look at it! It looks sick! I say, even in motion, it looks great. I'm gonna bunny hop it. Gah, it looks so good! So... Even though I am a modern gamer and I do love having autosave, there's something about an adventure where you only get the save points. And the reason I like that is it lets you know there's going to be cinematic set pieces. It's going to be a big deal. So they want you to save before it. It kind of amps you up. You know when you get to a certain save point, kind of like in Kingdom Hearts, you're like, oh shit, it's about to go down. So yeah, not too mad at it. All right, let's save. Yeah. We saved. And here comes here comes this person, whoever they are. I forgot them already. You're too late. Out of my way. Remember, you once stood by our cause. You will not receive my sympathy. Out of my way or be destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> no. 
you were foolish. I mean, we're wearing different colored outfits. That lets you know that I'm not on your side anymore. Oh. It looks so dope. Oh, just immediately into it. No transition screen, just a camera change. Just a camera shift. What abilities do I have? All right, I've got dive cut. Um, do I have enough AP? I don't have enough AP, do I? Yeah, I only got six. All right, we're gonna attack then. We're gonna attack the technician. No! God, dude, I, I, I almost took half this damage. What do I do? What do I do? Is it like Paper Mario? I can't remember. It's been a while since Next Fest. Oh, shit. Nah. I gotta hit the technician. That took some of his health. I'll take it. Oh, shit. Granted, I've got a lot of health. I know it's the opening battle. Like, I'm not gonna die. But it's, you know. Oh, it's gonna hit both of them. Here it goes. Up in the air. Oh, that was not up in the air. But it was pretty good. Almost killed the technician. Fuck you. Nice! Okay, it is like Paper Mario. I just noticed that thing down in the bottom there. Okay, cool. Um, let's speed up the technician. That's right. That's right. Okay, so there are attacks you can evade and attacks you cannot evade. That's good to know. I only got six points. Let's get. We're gonna beat him up. Mm, mm, mm. Oh hell yeah! You're at half health now. You can't handle it. Ooh. And this means it's time to die. That still wasn't enough, I guess, because just an AoE attack. It's not going to give me as much. All right, so I just got to beat him with my stick, my pokey stick. Oh, I busted him up. What do you got to say to me? I guess I want to see what lies beyond. Alright, I will then. Alright, so I guess let's head down into the chamber. Yeah, we're activating it. And we're off! Oh my god, look at that little transition change. <laughs> it's so big! Oh, that's dope! Why is it... Man, can you imagine having to explore that whole thing? Back in with this bumpin' track. Present day. Modern Earth. Season 1. The Unexpected. Yo, look at the tree, dude. This is such a spitting image of what it means to be an indie developer. Such a unique style. A lot of AAA developers would not give it the time of day because it isn't the most popular one. Like, everybody wants realism in their graphics. Everybody wants to see a style that is very much, oh my god, it's almost like real life. But it's not as fun. That's why nostalgia sells. This modernization of this pixel art is fantastic. I'm a huge fan. Well, another one in the books. Dude, we crushed it this year. You crushed it. You're damn right I did. Well, you... Oh, shit. You try, he did? What an asshole. So this was not in the demo. Not this part. Uh. Yeah, but... Oh. Heck yeah, dude. Get it. Get it. Get it. Dude, this is dope. Oh, won't well, let me go too far out. Look at the way 
the background moves. It's a very clever tactic. They move at different speeds, so this way it creates a more real transition. So we're going to head on in. Yep. We're going in. I gotta go get Boom Boom. Oh, that looks nice. Man, Dad's real conked out. No sneaking past Mom, huh? What does Dad have to say to me? He sleeps- OH SHIT! Yeah, I'll try. I'll be nice about it. Yeah, why is he biting his ankles? Oh! That's a being supportive parents here. You gotta respect it. I don't understand why my outfit looks like I'm in Jedi training. It's as though I'm Luke going to train with Yoda. But they're in modern clothing. So what the fuck's going on with my outfit? Do I join did I join martial arts? Am I a monk? I don't know. Oh boom, just in a cage on the floor. Is that a TV or an IV by my bed? Yeah. Okay, so this actually makes sense for the character. That's in the demo for Boom Boom. Here's to see how this goes. Wait, you got any wise words for me, Dad? Oh, no, I'm just complaining. What about you, Mom? Oh, it's a costume. I did see the Jack Lantern did his Halloween. Maybe I am um, a Jedi. True. All right, Rosie. It's time to show you my guinea pig. Yeah, I'll give it a savoroo. Rosie, I thought you wanted to see my rodent. Rosie, you want to see my rodent? I brought him out! Oh shit. Damn it, Boom Boom. Little fucker. Oh, Boom Boom, you little asshole. Man, these transitions are nice. <laughs> yeah, recover the rogue boom boom. Alright, I know. Let's go back. Oh. Why is he purple? I'm running. I'm running. Dude, he's flying. He's a fucking specter. I'm trying to run. He's fat. Oh. Dope. And look at the texture he's on the wall. It really feels like it's glossy. You ain't getting back up. Mm-mm. Just like that poor boy in Firewatch, you're stuck in this cave. Mm, poor buddy. It'll be okay, though. We're about to really go wild. So, is this... 
Beyond Galaxy Land, kind of like Alice in Wonderland? Am I just gonna go to sleep and imagine it all? I love a good portal, I do. <laughs> He's gonna poke it? Little thingy out there. I really did just go down the rabbit hole. Okay, so it's, it's spoofing Alice in Wonderland a little bit. I like this little band holding me up. What's floating in front of me? No, it's a happy face. What's in the darkness though? Marty bot. Hello, Marty bot. Other bots. <laughs> down from here. Oh, like that would be terrifying though. Anytime you watch shows like that where you wake up in an alternate future, alternate timeline, you do have to face the reality. You might not ever see your family again. You might not see your friends again. You might never see what once was actually be there again. Uh, the show Farscape explores this beautifully. It's a show from the 90s that's very much like Star Trek, but more based around someone just getting thrown into another universe, a way far-fetched future, and just hoping they can make it work. Like, there's too many variables. So yeah, I, I, I like that the creator is touching on the emotional part of this. He's a full-grown man now. <laughs> Back in the day when I was simple.
So, I get my own multi-tool, like Doctor Who. Looks like a walkie-talkie grenade. Nice, so it's a universal translator. A location device to help me find out where I need to go, and it gives me a double jump? I want one. And I got some explorer's glasses. And I get to have Marty Bot go with me. Hmm. Alright, well, let me put my shades on. Oh, I can't just put it on? Okay, well, whatever. It's just a passive upgrade. What you got to say, big and handsome? Heard you're off to retirement? Lucky your last is a human. Man, are those things hilarious. <laughs> Jesus. Thanks, buddy. I think. Alright. I gotta tell you, the, the game gets it started really fast. It gives you enough of a backstory to, you know, let you know how you get here, but we're, we're up and running. Uh, let's wait on the lift. Okay, so we gotta take that. What, what's in here, though? That's why we waited. Got paid. fuck are these big eyes? I guess. Okay, so it's just gonna be a big meme of a lot of things. Strange blob creature. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. Are you food? At least he's asking. That's pretty polite, right? Uh, do I want to go this way? God, look at the skyline, though, dude. It looks great. What's over here? You got information, dog? Okay, so we got to go down. That's our boy. Okay, so let's go way left thing, because it looks like right is the right way to go. Yeah, I see it up on the radar there now. All right, let's talk to you. What you got? Uh-uh. Yeah, that's a good question. If you're Queen Zero of Galaxy, then what the, what do you do with your life? Enjoy the view while you can. Few will ever enjoy it a second time. What does that mean? Like, because it's such a big place and space travel is just a thing now, so you don't come back to the same planets a lot? But I don't feel like that would be true. I feel like if you are going to be... Living in a vast future like Cowboy Bebop or Star Trek where you can go place to place, home becomes more important than it's ever been. Even if it's your spaceship, you have to have a planet that you can build familiarity with. You have to have cultures and civilizations that you can feel like you can come back to. It makes the universe not feel as huge, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm wrong on this, but that's just my view. What about you? What you got to say? Skeptical alien. Dream core. On my home planet, power of this magnitude would never be used for good. Perhaps a more advanced race may handle it better. Perhaps not. Yeah, perhaps not. It's other bot. Gotta go say goodbye to all our friends. I don't trust this dream core. Who is to say they didn't make up the end to justify ripping us from our homes? I think we should all demand to be returned. Yeah! Oh, it's just Lizard-esque man again about Queen Zero. Nobody cares about Queen Zero anymore. Whatever. Moving forward. What's up, dog? Dream. Oh, 
Okay. I mean, I know it's one developer, so not every NPC is going to be that unique. And that's fine. It's just cool that it's even there at all. But we do get some repeat sayings here. Very Animal Crossing-like. Okay, so we got a train this way. Nope, not getting on that train. What you got to say to me? Checking out the first desk there. Okay, we're just going straight into it. Nice. Your name? Uh, Doug Dwyer. Doug Dwyer. Oh, I even got a whole fucking barcode for me. Anything? Anything? Nobody wants to talk to me? That's fine. We'll just step on. This looks like my ride. If that was it. Let's keep moving forward, though. Always check to see what you can find. How far down can I go? I see the gold exclamation mark. Why'd you let me come down here for that then? Yeah, I could believe that everything below this is not as pretty. It's a pretty standard practice. You gotta get closer to God, you gotta get heavenly, so the rich go above the poor. What's in this? Money? And a wire? What do you want to talk to me about? Okay. Well. Oh, what you got to say to me? I know it's the wrong ship. What you got to say? It's a whole family. Food. Must have food. Man, they're not joking. Always hungry. All right, dude, let's do it. I'm ready. Just humans, huh? can look around. That's cool. I was saying we're not that dumb. It is pretty cool. Looking like Earth over here. And the vines look great. Godspeed or whatever. Just get the fuck out of my ship. It's Arcadia? I guess. That's the right idea, Doug. What, what's happening here? You got hostile threats in this area? 
Oh. Well, turns out we're not... <laughs> we haven't actually made it to our new life yet. We still gotta move. Yeah, you're having a good day. Man, it's rough. I like that they're exploring this. It's not just a typical journey. It's upsetting. I guess so. Just stick around, help out. I guess it is better than nothing having a nice buddy. What? Just slapped himself. I'm gonna go chase Boom Boom. He's fucking running away. And look at the backdrops! It did such a great job. Just on the art style. And the music, though. <laughs> it's a little velociraptor. Just flowing right into it. I'm guard. Eh, just give me the short version. I, I know most of the stuff. Get refresher. Yeah, I saw the ability point thing. Oh, between everybody. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. Okay, so turn points for that. Hitting enemies sexually will grant one point of AP. While missing subtracts two points. Fuck! Okay, and so you can't just skip a turn to give ability points. Good to know. Okay, good to know. Damn, dude, so if I fail my defense, I automatically lose AP. That sucks. Well, that'll work then. Yeah, get wrecked, nerd. Veloci dead. Oh shit, alright, we got a whole party. Alright, that sucked, I missed. Nice! Oh. There's one baby raptor. I say we gotta get your sh we gotta get it up for you, man. You can't just miss shots like that. I can't say much either. Oh, that took care of him. Yeah. And that's game. That ain't it. Now it's real game time. Oh shit. Oh, I like the screen shake though. Really lets me hear that or feel that heft. Run away! Oh, look, we're sliding out of here, dude. Oh, I can't jump. Damn it, I missed stuff. 
Well, whatever. You leave. You live. You. You live. You learn. We do get in great situations because you know we're pretty frail, so you gotta run like hell. <laughs> I've heard about emotion. All right. Well, we made it. Get some prizes. Some more prizes. And now... Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, so I, I noticed this in the demo. They have the arrows on a lot of areas to designate if you're going to go, I guess, now to the back panel of the 2D environment. Or if you go to the platform above, platform below. It, it's pretty fun. It helps the 2D feel more 3D, you know? And getting some moolah. A little bit of save point. I like it. Alright. So far, this is... It's an adventure, and it's fun, and it's laying it out little by little. Shh, shh. Look at this thing. I bet it just wants to eat, eat, eat. That's all I want to do. Listen, so here's the deal. While I'm here, I can snag photos or snap photos and can scan any creature or conscious we come across. Check it out. Baby raptor. I have. Bring in all those Paper Mario things, preemptive strikes, you name it. Let me attack them. Okay. There was some key that was not to the keyboard, I guess, or to the controller, but whatever. All right, so we can see the Raptor's health points. In this sense, support to always be taking photos of people and things you encounter. Also note how the raptor is already damaged. When enough damage is dealt, the enemy can be defeated before even entering the battle. I can capture them like Pokemon! Yeah, that's one of the reasons I was excited about this, is you can tame monsters. Let's capture it, dude. I did it! I abduct- I abduct- Abducted him. Like a UFO. Nice. See, that's really cool, man. So, like, you just... I love when games do this. It's always lovely. To Boom Boom. Why does Boom Boom get it? Oh, okay, just increase their strength. Yeah, give it to Doug. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Got to put on the shades. Nice. A little XP share all around. Oh, I got new abilities too? He also increased his strength. When I got a big slash, I can. Get wrecked, nerd. 
true new ability. Tinder Embrace. But well, we don't really need to uh, do that right now. That's all we needed to do. Oh, and everybody leveled up! Feeling stronger already. I'll try to do have a double jump. See, th that's what was confusing about it not working earlier in that one little instance, is I can't attack outside of battle. It just didn't register there. Nice. That didn't work. Oh, you're psyching yourself up? Let me show you what I psych myself up for. Some of that. Damn right, it's victory. Save point here. Mmm. Fucking broke it. Give him a little booty smack. That's right, walk away in shame. Uh uh. Not happening. Oh, it's time. Oh! Dude, that felt nice. Felt nice. Oh, 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 little treasure for my troubles. Eh, no. I got this. Pay me. Are you gonna race me to it? I don't think so. I like how we have to cross our paths again just to get to the right spot. Oh, he's psyching himself up. Oh, they're both psyching themselves up. Well, it was useless. Oh, that's not good. Oh, he missed completely. There it is. Combat's pretty satisfying. I I'm a fan of turn-based in general, but there's just enough diversity. It kind of feels like Pokemon. It kind of feels like old-school Final Fantasy. And I'm definitely not mad at that. Now, of course, this is subjective. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but still. Little platforming elements, but there's treasure down here. Damn, the greed is strong. It's okay. Speed demons. Fuck. I will survive. No, I'm gonna make it though. Here we go. Alright, here going. Full speed. Full speed ahead. Nailed it. Anything over here? Nope, nope, can't do anything with that bridge yet. We can't go up this way. Dude, it smacked the shit out of this thing. What? But I'm on this side now? I wonder if I'm the asshole in this. What if, like, it wasn't even gonna fight me? And... I didn't even try to scan it. Poor guy. Oh, shit. No, we just had to take that. I am going to take your whirlwind ability, though. Jesus Christ. Capture it! Yeah! 
Do I get the Whirlwind ability? Alright, so summons. Doug. Nice. And I drop the bridge. Hell yeah. Going down. Let's see what's next on my journey. I got a feeling we're going to be versing Big Raptor here soon. Take the high ground. Oh! Fuck. Oh, whoops. I didn't even see you. Probably means you get to attack first. Oh, you don't. Nice. Alright, what can you do right now? Strong kick. Kick him. Ooh, killed him. <laughs> One shot. Oh, damn, that hurt. Yes, recover this HP. <laughs> he gave me kisses. Not that time, bitch. That's what you get. And now we get to level up. Oh yeah, feeling stronger already. All so much stronger. Oh, I gotta get up there. Okay. Well, let's go try again then. But treasure first. Love getting paid. Got it that time though. Oh, there's treasure down there. No. No, I I'm already up here. Damn it, I still forgot to analyze it. Whatever. Ow. I said my strength is going up. I'm getting stronger. I'm dealing out that real damage. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna deal out the real death. Alright. Okay, so that's how I analyze. I, I gotta remember that. Seems like it could be important. can go up. Oh! Turns out they like me having greed. And I love it when they pay you to be greedy. It's a good feeling. It doesn't make you feel as bad about it. Uh, do I need to know anything of what I have? Do I have equipment I can give? I have a cheap vest. Nice. Do I have uh, any equipment for Boom Boom? No. Oh, look. A bird. <laughs> Found a whole city. I knew that's where we were heading, but it's pretty dope. They really fleshed these out. 
Hello there. Welcome to Arcadia. You're coming from that direction. It means you just got dropped off by Dream Core. So again, welcome. Thanks, buddy. Came alone, huh? No family? Yeah, not doing too bad. <laughs> Guess not. Nice, got a whole home. Mm. Got an energy necklace. So this is a gigantic refugee city. Hey, that's nice. Like, it's nice that they made the best of the worst. All right. Let's get a quick save a here to actually go ahead and equip my equipment. Yeah, yeah, increase my turn points. We'll save here. But with that, I think that's gonna cut it. So after playing for about an hour, I'm um, going on 50 minutes here. I'm highly impressed. This actually is not even the demo at all. The demo included even like a boss battle, some different situations, but it was not the beginning. And I remember it saying that for first impressions. It's an eight. I'm excited to see how deep it goes. I love a good adventure. I love a great story. I love galaxy hopping. So this has a lot of elements of what keeps me engaged in a story on top of the Fan fuck fantastic art style, super catchy music. I love a good turn-based system. I like the Pokemon catching aspect. This is a fun one to keep your eye on, and I say an 8 right now. But I got a feeling that once I beat it, it's going to go to a 10. And at some point, I'm going to make a series on this. So as of now, it's an 8 out of 10. Give it a shot. Wishlist it. Wait for a sale if you need to. But keep it on your radar. And please like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps. And with that, have a great day.